Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets from an intermarket analysis perspective. As always, today is Wednesday, 2nd of March 2016. This video is being brought to you by CFDs.com, your trading uh, specialist in spread betting and CFD brokerage. Alternatively, you can uh, visit the web educational website, which is www.cfds.education, to certainly learn more. Okay, let's try and decipher exactly what's happening with regards to these markets. Now, the Asian markets, stellar rally overnight. It certainly seems to be baked into the cake because there's no follow-through this morning in the European session at all. So, certain weakness there. The FTSE itself is certainly wilting and certainly uh, very, very weak as well. Oil prices remain weak. Copper certainly into resistance. And the gold is now starting to potentially catch a bit on this risk-off trade. The Aussie and Kiwi trading sideways, although they are bullish in nature given the... Uh, Dairy auction beat over yesterday, uh, the global dairy auction, and also you had the uh, uh, you had the uh, uh, stronger Aussie GDP data overnight, which should certainly support the Aussie as well. Okay, so uh, the Nikkei up a whopping 600 points, the uh, Hang Seng up 600 as well, and the Shanghai up a whopping 4.24 percent, 115 points. Now, a lot of that you one could argue is certainly baked into the cake. We did get a downgrade by Moody's. On China overnight, obviously markets have ignored that. The Chinese rate cut is certainly remains a focus, although it has been slow in terms of reaction and has been lagging. Now, I got stopped out multiple times. I'm down almost 160, 170 points today uh, after having been uh, up by uh, plus 80 points on Monday. Certainly stopped out on the majority of my trades. Quite a stellar rally, very, very impressive rally. And one that I did foresee, but I didn't follow through in, in terms of my analysis. So, it just goes to show you must adhere to your analysis even though the markets can be quite volatile okay let's try and decipher exactly what's happening here i'm going to do a, a eu market analysis video then i'll uh, start to do a us market analysis video okay in terms of um, uh, economic data this morning other than the uh, chf gross to, uh, swiss uh, gdp coming in better than expected uh, brc shop price index certainly negative uh, we've got construction coming out in the pmi construction uk coming out in the next few minutes and then we've got mr broadbent Speaking from the BOE, and we also have an additional member, Mr. Cunliffe, speaking as well. So whether or not they'll be hawkish or dovish, obviously that will shift the market's expectations and move the market in either direction. Okay, now in terms of uh, technicals, let's go on to technicals and to, and, and to start to move from there. Now, first of all, the price of oil, obviously that, that remains the key factor. The price of oil itself is still holding that resistance level here. It can clearly be seen on the 60-minute chart. We're holding that double top, so no real break move higher. That's one of the reasons why the FTSE itself is not seeing any follow-through. I did expect follow-through given the fact that Shanghai was up by 4% overnight. The FTSE did hit a pivot high of 6215, and we failed to see any follow-through this morning. So I do remain long, but I've hedged that with other trades, okay? Now, the daily chart itself, you are holding that resistance level at 6160 by the looks of it. On the daily chart, 60 minutes, uh, you can see here we are now starting to wilt. Potential retest that breakout zone at 6100. Okay, the uh, 10 minute chart of the FTSE itself, you can see that we are, uh, we failed to follow through on this bull flag. 6190 was the pivot high, and now we're looking to retest that 6150 zone on the downside. So, 6150 going in with regards to this construction data, we'll see how the markets react. Okay, uh, the 10 minute chart you certainly observed on the FTSE, and that certainly will remain the key. Okay, the price of copper itself, we certainly have broken out this symmetrical wedge on the price of uh, copper. And we shall see whether or not we can sustain this move higher on the daily chart. Okay, now um, it certainly is showing some weakness now in the 60 minutes. So we'll certainly see how the dollar reacts. Okay, now in terms of the uh, European index or European indices, let's just go to a weekly chart because I think that's quite important. On the weekly chart, you have this 200 MA previous resistance or previous support equals resistance. And therefore, one would expect this uh, certainly to come under pressure. The daily chart, you can see that we do have a horizontal sort of resistance on the daily chart where previous support equals resistance. And that certainly is coming into uh, fruition. So it certainly is coming into play. Okay, so this zone here on the daily chart will certainly act as potential resistance. Now, bringing up the 60-minute chart of the Euro stocks, you can certainly see that we've closed that gap now at 3021, uh, 3020. Uh, the next resistance, if you do push high, is 3050, but it's very unlikely to reach that. And you are looking for a, a pullback on these uh, indices now, given the fact that they are severely oversold. Now, if we do come uh, come back down, we are looking at 2960 as potential support on the euro stocks. Okay, that's the uh, potential support zone that we uh, are envisaging. 
Okay, now the uh, 10 minute chart of the Euro stocks. Let's just see exactly where we're positioned. We've closed that gap, which I've explained at 3020, and now looking to potentially move lower. Uh, given this diagonal trend line support, you are looking at, at support at this 3000 region. Now, there is a gap level here as well, 2996. That's something to watch out for. Okay, so that gap will come into motion. Uh, given the fact that it's an overnight gap and you are looking at that closing at 2996 so on the downside 2996 is the zone to watch okay right so let's just cross verify that with the euro 350 euro 350 certainly is into resistance now as well on the uh, daily chart so therefore you are looking at weakness so certainly what I'll keep an eye out for this zone here okay now the German DAX, this German DAX itself, daily chart now is coming into resistance. As you can see the doji on the uh, daily chart, 60 minute chart of the uh, the German DAX, you can see that we are holding that horizontal resistance and therefore looking to potentially reverse. Okay, so this zone is going to be quite important. Okay, now the uh, reversal on German DAX, if you do reverse and you are looking at 9580 as a potential zone to observe, the 10 minute chart of the uh, German DAX, let's just bring this up for you. Uh, as potential zones to watch out for on the 10 minute. You have uh, resi previous uh, resistance equal support in this zone here. Okay, so we need to watch this very, very carefully. Okay, so these are the zones that we watch out for. And obviously, first, uh, first and foremost, we observe the uh, gap fill region. So you have gap fill on the German DAX. Once we close the gap, then we can always reassess. But for now, you have 9.720 as potential gap fill. We have pivot, moved higher to 9.830. That has been rejected. And as you can see, we've fallen quite sharply subsequently. Okay. And therefore, looking at weakness down below. Okay. Now, uh, you had this mini trend line going on uh, and uh, certainly has negated that as well to a large extent. And therefore, you are looking for a... Uh, a gap to uh, certainly close on the uh, downside. So watch out for that. Okay. Now... In terms of our other indices, the uh, MDAX, uh, just to, to confirm that is into gap fill resistance, and therefore the German DAX is into resistance. Okay, it's a tech all share that we're watching out for. Uh, it certainly has potential scope for moving higher, so we shall certainly keep an eye on this index for now. Okay, now the uh, CAC itself, let's just bring up the CAC. Okay, the, the French CAC on the uh, daily chart. You can see that we are now into horizontal resistance on the French CAC. Okay, 60 minute chart. You can see that so uh, we've pushed higher. Okay, we certainly have pushed higher, and there is an unfilled gap just above. That certainly needs closing, so that certainly is a an area to watch out for. But it is in a uh, potential no man uh, zone. Okay, although we did have resistance at the four four two five, certainly seems to have gone past that as well. If we do move back, then you are looking at four three fifty as potential support for the French CAC. The ten minute chart has an unfilled left gap left behind. So from my perspective. One would presume that that gap would certainly close. Okay, so the potential target of the downside would be gap fill. Okay, so that's certain that gap there at uh, 4406 is certainly a gap that needs to be filled on the downside. So, again, a pivot towards that gap. Now, let's just see uh, the uh, economic data now as well. Let's just see what the uh, UK data came out 54.2, so weaker UK data. And that certainly isn't a good sign. So you are looking at potential further pressure on the downside for the FTSE. My stop loss is up 6166. If stopped out, I will switch my bias to short. Uh, the Chinese rally certainly has not uh, has not been has not allowed. Uh, or certainly, the market hasn't taken that uh, uh, from a bullish perspective. It certainly is a very negative attraction. Okay, so for now, French cap looking at support gap fill at 4405 and looking for further weakness. Okay, so. Right, so I think that's a market wrap. In terms of uh, the alternative uh, variables to watch out for, the Aussie certainly is languishing, failing to move higher. The, the Kiwi as well, certainly failing to move higher. No move, real movement there. In terms of uh, the Euro USD, let's just bring up the Euro USD itself. Certainly is uh, attempting its rally higher. The daily chart on the Euro USD. Now. Your USD or 60 minute looks like it's an inverted head and shoulders from my perspective. But either way, you are looking at a, um, a movement here, a potential break as well. So we're in a symmetrical wedge. Need to look at it to potentially move higher. So whether or not we can uh, trigger this pattern, okay, 
here's another question so in the IHS off we go and looking for a potential reversal of the movement higher so that's, that's the part that we're looking out for okay right okay I think that's a market wrap now in terms of uh, the uh, next movement or in terms of the movement on the uh, actual uh, indices uh, again watch out for this zone weaker UK data certainly will put pressure on the FTSE and looking for further lower prices okay I think that's a market wrap uh, just one more variable before I do just quickly remembered is the uh, price of the yen as you can see the yen now is into support therefore looking to potentially uptick higher than therefore causing risk aversion also with regards to the uh, USD JPY uh, if I just bring up a 60 minute chart we certainly are pushing higher but on the uh, four hour you can see that we are now into potential resistance on the daily chart as well you can see that we are now potentially into resistance on the USD JPY so that would indicate that the market is now coming back into risk off mode okay so that certainly is a, an area that we look at okay, keep a keen eye out for okay okay that's a market wrap uh, wish you the best in your trading day and uh, be sure to visit cfds.com goodbye